tissue paper or a rough cloth with you and finally we need a water container of course we do not use much of water while we paint of course we do not use any water in that case while we paint because we all know by now that a cd is not an absorbing and mixing water with the paint will not make any good to our painting so avoid mixing water to your paints because cd is not an absorbing surface it is a hard surface so it will not be able to absorb that water and you will just end up ruining your painting we need the water container just for the purpose of cleaning our brushes and that's the only requirement Okay, so that's all that we need for today's class. That's basic art materials, acrylic paints, water container, brushes, CD. If not CD, then a round cardboard or a round paper, whatever suits the case for you. And the paper towels or a rough cloth. And finally, a sketch pen or permanent marker or CD DVD markers. Okay, so I love discussing the art materials in detail because I don't want any of y'all it's not a single person should miss this class just on the basis that you don't have the exact art materials because it's fine if you don't have the exact art materials i give so many substitutes for the art materials because as i said i don't want you all to miss on to the fun activity okay so i hope all of you all have gathered all your art materials all the clothes substitutes of these art materials and all of you are ready for the class okay so i'm quickly beginning with the first process and i guess in this class there's not much of um, things to be discussed it's going to be simply a relaxing class as i said a therapeutic class so just for a few moments y'all can observe it on the screen and i think by uh, just in a minute or so you would be talented enough to just carry out the class all by yourself okay so i'm gonna quickly show you one single step and after that you all can just get started with your paintings as well okay so just for the first time all eyes on the screen and let's get started so first we're just taking uh the permanent marker or the cd dvd marker or the sketch pen and we're just going to make these shapes randomly of different sizes so i don't know what would we call it as but something like this is what i'm trying to create of different sizes different shapes just some haphazard lines covering the entire thing and i'm just playing around i'm gonna make more of these at all the sides of different sizes and there we go okay so this was plain simple step i'm gonna quickly repeat this in case you haven't followed it and now you all can just jump into it you all can use your acrylic um uh, your permanent markers or the cd dvd markers or the sketch pen whatever you're using and make these rough sketch on the cd if you don't have any of these no sketch pen no permanent marker no cd cd dvd marker absolutely fine you can just take the black acrylic paint with a brush and make these uh, shapes okay so let's begin again for one more time and we are going to draw these enclosed shapes but having very uh, rough edges and by the title you might have already uh, known the class I'm going to paint a cow print on the CD this time. So if you have observed a cow, I'm sure you must have observed a cow, of course. So the cow have these uh, kind of spots on their body. And these are what I'm trying to reflect over here. I'm just making these shapes very rough with this uh, permanent marker and now it's just the task half done we just have to paint white outside these uh, shapes 
and black inside these shapes okay so i'm going to repeat this again because this time you can just start along with me instead of waiting for me and observing the process you all can just get started so just listen to me carefully one for one time and then you all can just get started inside these shapes inside these shapes inside these these shapes we are going to paint black and the area outside it the area surrounding it we are going to paint it white okay so let's get started now i'm going to begin with a uh, white first because i think it's best when we use the black paint the last in our artwork it's always the best to use the black paint at the last step so i'm going to start with the white i am going to leave those spots i'm going to leave those enclosed shapes and i'm going to begin with the background the surrounding area that is white okay so you can do it vice versa also if you want to paint white inside the enclosed you can do that and you can give the surrounding area as black but i would prefer giving the surrounding area as white and that is what i've begun with over here so i'm going to quickly cover up this space entirely with white leaving the shapes black or blank for now we are leaving them blank let's quickly complete this So as I said, this is going to be really, really therapeutic. This is going to be really, really relaxing. So I just thought it would be nice if I could just make you all experience this aspect of art as well. And hence, I thought, why not have this cow print CD? Okay. So make sure that you're not spoiling the rough shapes that we have created but at the same time you're also enjoying this process so give me a thumbs up in the chat section if you're also enjoying the simple art making and also relaxing and having a peaceful time along with me yes quickly give me a thumbs up tell me if you're enjoying this okay so i'm giving the surrounding area as white as i said and in these uh, enclosed shapes i'm going to paint black so make sure that you are not mixing water with your paint otherwise you'll not be able to cover the cd and you'll still be able to see that silver part of the cd so avoid mixing water with the paint use acrylic paint alone with the brush of course but without mixing any extra stuff with it okay i'm gonna quickly complete this area as well which is i think the last one over here okay so if you feel there's any kind of blank spaces or the silver base is still visible you can just cover it up nicely for me i think it looks good now i've already covered this uh, background area the surrounding area and i think now it's time to just finish off the the black part Okay. Awesome. So now I'm going to start with the black part. And if you remember, I was talking about using black as the last step of any painting process. So the same applies to you any other medium. If you're using watercolors, if you're using oil pastels crayons plastic crayons whatever you're using it's always the best to use the black shade at the last step because it is the darkest color and we don't want that color to just end up mixing with all the other colors so it's always advisable to use black uh, at the last step of 
creating your art as far as possible in certain cases it might not be feasible for you all to use the black at the last step but still you can make sure that you're using the black shade at the last step of the painting process and hence that's the reason i have used black at the next step as i'm doing it here okay so here's the black acrylic paint i'm gonna quickly clean the brush and i'm gonna use this black to fill up this holes the holes or the spots whatever you want to call it as so i'm gonna quickly finish this off but at the same time as i said i'm gonna enjoy the process as well so how simple is this art making but how 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 therapeutic and relaxing it could be yes i'm gonna quickly complete this awesome yes there we go so we are going to complete the spots in the similar manner i'm going to fill this black right over here i was just so engaged in this process that i just forgot that i was taking a class over here so i'm just kind of enjoying this filling up of spaces On to this, on to the last area now. Okay, it's not the last. The center portion is still left. Let's complete this. Okay. All right last tiny portion so imagine if you would have used the black first and the white later it uh, it might have been that you know if you used black first and then used white it might be a case where you know the white is getting mixed with the black and it is forming a new shade a new color that is gray of course so we didn't want it that to happen and that's the reason i advised you all to complete the white portion first and then finish the black off okay so i have the cd ready in front of me and it looks totally awesome to me what do you think about it yes it was a cow print cd we use these acrylic themes and simple cool shades that was just black and white and that was what we painted in this class it might be really really simple but i'm sure you must have enjoyed it you must have had a relaxing time and that was it for today i hope all of you enjoy this class had therapeutic benefits of working with acrylics and do make your submissions if you have also used a cardboard or a paper as i said i'll be still considering your submissions because as i just keep repeating this in all of my classes that art is not just about materials or the exact materials but more about enjoying the process okay if you enjoyed the process make sure that you make your submissions and if you have any special demands for what courses you would want to attend or what courses would you want us to come up with make sure that you will drop them in the comment section chat section and let us know we will surely come up with a course that you would like to attend okay so that was it for today's class i hope all of you all Enjoy the class. Make your submissions. Let us know about your thoughts about this course and also for the upcoming courses that you wish to attend. 
i'll see you in the next class till then please take care of yourself stay safe and bye bye hi everyone we are excited to have you here in today's fun fill learning session at yolo here is a quick look at how you can submit your work after the class as a first step go to live.yolo.com you can use any browser to access this site on this page you will see a list of all our classes scroll down and you can see the submit your work button and then you will see a list of the classes that you've last attended which could for example show the dance or craft or science experiment classes you've attended recently next it will show you the list of children whose names are registered in this mobile number choose your name from this list to submit your work for instance if you are satvik kumar choose that name and then choose the class for which you would like to make your submission for example if you've attended the new year's masquerade party session and you'd like to make the submission for this class click on the submit your work button below that and then upload the photo you've taken choose the image from your phone and click submit you can scroll down and view all your past submissions and see how many of your friends or peers have liked your work you can also see others work and like their work to inspire your friends if you want to showcase your work on social media that too is very simple click on share copy the link and post it on instagram or facebook or any other platform of your choice just a tiny reminder your submission looks a lot better if you could click a photo in the landscape mode rather than the portrait mode do not forget to tag us at yolo underscore app i'm eagerly looking forward to all your submissions right after this class